Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today we are looking at something a little bit obscure, but a game that nevertheless does well deserve to be talked about. Jeff Wayne's The War of the Worlds for PC. released all the way back in 1998 as a video game adaptation of Jeff Wayne's musical adaptation of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds, and not to be confused with the PlayStation 1 game with the exact same name that came out in 1999, Jeff Wayne's The War of the Worlds for PC can be best described as ambitious and ahead of its time, the game effectively doing what the Total War franchise did except a few years before it, and even including a few impressive features that Total War never had. So like I said, this is very clearly a game that deserves to be more talked about, and played more often, which is why it's a shame that the game doesn't really run out of the box these days. But fortunately, we are here to fix that. Before we continue though, I should mention that I am using a physical copy of the game, as there is no official digital release. In addition, the machine that I am testing these fixes on is a Windows 10 64-bit, with an i7-6700K processor, 48GB of DDR4 RAM, and a GTX 980 Ti. I should also mention that PC Gaming Wiki covers most of what I'm going to be telling you right now. And with all of this said, let's dive in. The first thing you'll want to do is download this patch from Angry Lion, found on an old gaming forum, and extract it into the game's directory. Once this is done, you'll then want to download and install DXGL. And once you've done that, open up the configuration for DXGL and select Add, and then navigate to the game's directory and select WOW Patched. .exe, and then hit OK. And you should be done. However, there are a few troubleshooting tips I would like to go over, just in case you might still have issues. For a start, if you do play a lot of older games, especially ones that are installed with or using a 16-bit executable, then you may have installed OTVDM at some point onto your computer. Unfortunately, this program and the game's installer do not get along very well, and so you may have to temporarily uninstall OTVDM in order to get the game installed. Alternatively, you can manually install the game just by copying the contents of the Human Campaign CD and pasting it onto your computer. However, doing this causes cutscenes within the game to bug out, although fortunately there are only a handful of cutscenes total, and these are just the campaign intros and outros as well as the main game intro itself. Another thing I should mention is that it is also possible for the game's color palette to become bugged out as well. If this happens to you, what what you'll have to do is get into the registry editor and navigate to the proper registry as shown here and make sure that the two selected keys are properly configured again as shown here. Congratulations! If you have done everything correctly then your copy of Jeff Wayne's The War of the Worlds for PC should be fully playable. And we've covered some of the troubleshooting quirks with this game as well just in case you do run into trouble. With all of this said I hope this guide will be of some use. But in any case this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.